Hey, what's going on, fam? I'm just uh, making a video about the topic of protecting yourself, protecting yourself from energy vampires, protecting yourself from NPCs, protecting yourself from human leeches, protecting yourself from knuckle draggers, protecting yourself from oxygen thieves, or whatever, want to call them zombies, whatever. Uh, I've made a few videos in the past about how energy vampires are in full force nowadays. You know, there's a lot of, there are a lot of people out there walking around who want to take your energy. They want to waste your time. Um, they want to take your money, take your resources, you know, or just plain out, uh, bother you, annoy you, you know, annoy you, uh, you know, they just, uh, pretty much want to take up your time, you know, and the reason for this, uh, uh, I don't really have like a solid theory about why this is going on, going on, but you know maybe it has something something to do with um, you know we live in the age of social media. Everybody's on their uh, Android phone. Everybody's on their iPhone. Everybody's everybody's glued to a screen or whatever. Maybe you know people are not sociable like they used to in the past because everybody's at home on the internet, you know, people don't really call people anymore. Like the old days, you know, people, they either text or email or send you a DM, instant message, whatever, instead of actually picking up the phone and calling you. Maybe that has something to do with it. I don't know. Or another theory is that we live in an age where like people put so much emphasis on feelings and how they feel, and everybody thinks, uh, you know, they're a victim of something, you know, because, you know, being a victim is profitable now, or whatever, so maybe it has something to do with that, but it seems like a lot of people have this uh, dependent, very dependent mindset, you know, they're very dependent, codependent, dependent, whatever you want to call it, and the solution, the personal solution is to always stay protected. Uh, when I say protected, uh, I don't care how you go about it. You know, if you're a religious person, you know, you know pray about it. You know, if you're into um, in in the form of uh, spirituality, uh, you know, always stay protected. You know, if you're into like um, you know, crystals, incense, candles. Uh, whatever, uh, lucky charms, uh, get get back into that full force, you know, um, you know, if you're into like uh, spiritual systems, like African spiritual systems, you know, always, uh, you know, do your rituals, you know, say your affirmations or whatever, you know, always stay protected up nowadays because nowadays, man, people. It's like it's getting worse now. It's, it seems like you know, you, some in some uh, situations, you literally have like uh, the un, the undead walking around. Not literally, but you know, people's mindsets are, are kind of like you know. And it, it, it always made a point in my previous videos how we live in age of we live in the age of information. You know, whatever you want to find out about, you can just uh, search on Google, right? But this is like in in the information age, people are more ignorant than ever, and it's gotta get real bad because now we have um, AI, you know, artificial intelligence is uh, coming in strong, and you still have these uh, under underclass of people who don't want to take the initiative to learn anything dealing with computers. And I've seen situations where you got people, I mean, literally, I'm not joking. You have people, I've seen people who have never used a mouse on the computer before. And it's like, this is 2023. How can you not know, like, you know, I, I've been using computers since I was a little kid, you know. You know, you know, even when I was in elementary school, you know, I used to play, go to the library, 
in uh play, play computer games you know even though we would have a we would have a personal computer at the house in my elementary school in a predominantly black school in the south we had a computer so every time we go to the library i remember back in the day man we just let's like uh go there to play play uh Oregon trail <laughs> remember that game Oregon trail <laughs> You know, and stuff like that, and not uh, in the school library and stuff like that. Then, of course, you know, back in the day in the eighties and nineties, you had Nintendo. I remember I had a Nintendo, Super Mario, Super Mario Brothers, Doug Hunt, Zelda, Mega Man, uh, all those games, and su- the Super Nintendo, then Sega Genesis, Sonic, Sonic the Hedgehog, and you know, I used to play uh, Mortal Kombat, uh, Street Fighter. You know, stuff like that, like back in the uh, early '90s. You know, and so everybody, you know, if you're if you're either a teenager in the '80s and '90s, if you're in teens or in your twenties around that era, there's no excuse to say that you're not exposed to anything dealing with computers. Because if you play video games, technically that's you no, know, that's te- technically a computer. You know. And everything, but it's like okay, this is 2023. I've seen uh, people in their 50s. So if you're in your 50s now, I'm not that old, you know. So I'm not even, I'm not even that old. But I'm just saying, like, I've seen, I've seen uh, people in their 50s who never use use a mouse or whatever. I'm just like, it didn't, it didn't add up because if you're in your 50s now, back in the 80s and 90s, you were like in your 20s. So you were exposed to computers, even though you didn't have internet. You still had uh, video games, and uh, and uh, I think the internet officially came out like maybe like in the mid to late nineties, around that time when I first got introduced to it. Uh, back in high school, it was like you know, I feel mean, like the mid nineties. Even though I didn't have a computer at the house at that time, you know, you know, I would go to school. They would have a computer there, and you get go online stuff like that. But uh, but it's it's crazy how like you, you got people walking around. They choose to be ignorant. They choose to uh, not to uh, broaden their horizons on certain things. And uh, with this uh, AI coming up, if you if you're not um, tech savvy, you know computer savvy, whatever. I mean, you're literally gonna be left behind. And the term for it, there's a, there's a word for it called being a Luddite, a Luddite. And if you look up that word, it means that those are people who choose not to get involved in anything dealing with computers. And um, and it can't really be that because everywhere you go, I mean, you can, how can you survive without, you know, having a computer? You know, even if you have like a smartphone you know, I mean, that's technically a computer. So, yeah, but anyway, though, it's weird. But, it's, you know, the next couple of years is going to be very, very interesting. But I just uh, want to make a video about this. I just I want to get it off my chest. And if you have any input about this topic, about energy vampires, uh, The Walking Dead, um, uh, you know, people who choose not to uh, learn new skills, uh, put in the comments below. I like, I would like to hear your input on this topic. And that's all I got to say. Make sure you like and subscribe. Uh, like the video, dislike the video, whatever you know. And peace.